Welcome back to Paper Mario Internet! So, I apologize if the last episode was a bit shorter than what you were expecting, because I stopped like a little after a half hour, but then I cut out a lot of the uh, battle animation, so it was probably closer to 20 minutes. So, sorry about that. I'll try to make sure the episodes are a bit more lengthy than that. I try to get them finished at around a half hour. That seems to be what people prefer. Oh, fun. So I guess I'll take this opportunity to show off what Bombette can do. So she's got Body Slam, which is basically exactly like Cooper's Shell Toss. It's just maybe a little trickier at a time. But all in all, not too bad at all. She's also got Bomb, which is super powerful. Unfortunately, that takes quite a bit of FP to use, so you probably want to save that. And because she can actually get hurt if she hits a bob on when it's lit, I'm going to bring out Cooper. So I feel like from here on out, most of the battles I'll probably skip. Except if I'm trying to show off a new move, or if it's like an really exciting battle, or if I like, use items or something, demonstrating different things. But most of the mundane stuff I'll just skip right past to make sure the pace is kept nice and good. No one really wants to watch me battling enemies over and over again. You can fall down there, but there's nothing hidden there. And it's a good thing we have Cooper out, because we're going to need him for this next room. Use him to hit that switch. Then you walk across this bridge and have him hit it again. So yeah, kind of interesting puzzle, but pretty easy. As expected, this is a kid's game. But it's for kids and adults, so... Okay. Actually, you know what? Cooper will probably be better against this guy, because bob will probably be here. Sure enough. Alright. Ooh, good. Glad I got some flowers. And just hit this switch, and like last time, that staircase is gonna go down. Better get out Bombette, as we're gonna be using her. Thank you. Bombed is a great partner. Like, she's one that you use even at the end of the game. Like, a lot. So that's nice, because, like, eventually you're going to outgrow Cooper, basically. Like, there comes a time where you, like, will never use Cooper again, basically. But Bombed is always a great partner to have. Oh, this part's entertaining. <laughs> yeah. I like how nice that staircase looks. Very mossy and cool. Let's get out Cooper in case we face bob -ombs. <laughs> Wow. I feel almost bad doing that. Alright, time to climb up to the last part of the palace. Or I guess fortress. Come on, Cooper. So that's the doorway, but if you keep going up... Boom, badge. So I'm gonna try something a little risky. Yes! <laughs> if, if Bombay gets the first strike, a lot of damage is gonna be done. And I'll show you why you don't normally want Bombette to finish enemies off. At least when bob -ombs are lit. Because you see, she actually took damage there. Since it's the end of the battle, no big deal, but otherwise she would have been out for a turn or two. So that's not good. But we get the Smash Charge Badge. When charged, Mario's hammer power goes up by two. Decent badge. 
I personally prefer the Jump Charge Badge. Let's see, what can we unequip? You know, we're not really going to have a use for Payoff in the next couple fights, so I'll equip Smash Charge and Close Call. Also, we're going to want Goombario. Because we're encountering some new enemies in the next room. Oh, actually, but... Alright, so... Doo -doo. Well, 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 Mario! I wouldn't have bet you'd make it this far. <sniffs> Don't get smug, pal. You just caught us off guard. Trust me, we'll mop the floor with you if we get serious. We're as cool as they come. They really are. Yeah, boys! Open fire! And, yep, we got bullet bills now. Boy, the air is refreshing up here, huh? And look at the view! Isn't that pleasant pathway down there? That's all Kumbario has to say. I forgot. What you want to do is go down here and have Bombat blow up that rock. And we get maple syrup. Delicious maple syrup. Don't restore us 10 FP. So that's a pretty good boost of FP, but... We want to attack some bullet bills. Oh man, that is more than I expected. This is a Bullet Bill, a kamikaze attacker. If you don't beat Bullet Bills quickly, they'll slam into you and explode. Max HP 2, attack power 2, defense power 0. Oh, they only have 2 attack? I thought they had 3. I'm serious, Mario. These guys will really make us pay if they manage to hit us. We have to beat them before they get the chance to strike us. Well, even then, it's not a whole lot of damage, but... Yeah, they blow up. Oh! I totally forgot. I've got very really low HP. I'll be up for- Oh, thank you for that. Okay. Not nice. I wonder if Cooper could attack them, because, like, they're hovering, but they're also fairly close to the ground. There we go. They only give free- st they only give one star point apiece as well. Alright, I'll just jump over their attacks. Or not. Nice. Oh man, it's nice that they drop hearts when you're low on HP. If you go down here, we can actually hit a heart block, which that's nice. Alright, now, this, this is the only time in the entire game where you actually fight these, so you want to tattle on them, definitely. This is a Bill Blaster. Bill Blasters are the cannons that shoot out bullet bills. Max HP 4, attack power 0, defense power 1. They won't attack us directly, but they'll keep shooting out bullet bills as long as they can. It's an efficient attack to attack them all at once, but you can also beat them up one at a time. So, because of their one defense, that can make them tricky to deal with, so I think I will use my Thunderbolt now to instantly take out one of them. And you'll notice I got some coins back as a refund. And yeah, they shoot out two bill bullet bills per turn. Actually, not per turn, every other turn. So yeah, now they'll do nothing. So what I'm going to do is change to Bomb Bet, because she's really good against them. I'm going to show off Bomb. So for Bomb, tap A as fast as you can. And yeah, she can instinct kill them. Costs free FP to do that, though. So do watch your FP. But since we're right next to a heart block... I probably should have saved my Thunderbolt in hindsight, but you know what they say, 2020 hindsight. Alright, give me more HP. Alright, now we're on the boss, so better get out Goombario, make sure you hit the heart. Oh wait, I just gotta level up. No need for that. You guys ready? Hey, Black, what are you doing? Hurry, man, shake a leg! 
Ow, my shell, get off! Wait. Wait a minute. Whoa! Oh, for the love of... What are you doing, Yellow? That doesn't look cool at all! Okay, hang on. Okay, I'm ready, Red. Finally! Let's do this! Remember to look cool, guys. Yeah! It's Bowser! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Mario! <laughs> the strongest and the coolest! Behold the glory that is the great evil King Bowser! It's time for me to beat these foolish ideas out of you, saving Peach, please! Watch this and weep! That is basically what Bowser would look like if he were paperized. That title on Bowser? Bowser? But he looks kind of lame. I mean, he's lame anyways, but... Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 1. Does Bowser really look like this? I always imagined him looking, well, a lot scarier. If you're good, you can defend against his attacks. <laughs> I'm invincible! You are powerless before me! And now we're at the point where, well, Goombario can't really deal any damage, so... Switch to Mombat. Aw, oh, man. What's the matter with you? This isn't even funny! You can't even touch me! You'll be singing a different tune soon, Bowser. Hehehehe. <laughs> Aw oh, man, I'm stinking at the timing. <laughs> oh, haha, <laughs> you're so weak. Oh, I can't stop laughing. <laughs> Mario really thinks we're King Bowser. Shh, Mario will hear us. There we go. Oh, you're pathetic. Are you always this weak? The sequel should be called Paper Bowser. I would play that. Um, Red, we've got rips in lots of different places here. Forget about it. Mario was shaking in his boots. Let's get him. <laughs> All right. Now that I'm about to beat their first form, I'm going to switch back to Goombario so I can tattle on their second form. And... Oh no, that costume was perfect! Bowser loved it! <laughs> yeah, goodbye. Notice there was a picture of Princess Peach in there. Here come the Koopa Bros. So the Koopa Bros are actually a tough first boss. They have a quite a lot of tech. Okay, Mario, have a taste of this. The Koopa Bros special super spinning attack! Yeah. One damage for every Koopa. <laughs> Whoa, we're going over! I love their little mouth movements there. I'm not sure if this counts as a tattle, but I'm gonna do it anyways. The Koopa Bros have formed a tall Cooper Tower. Max HP question mark, attack power question mark, defense power question mark. I'm not sure about this. They do a spinning attack with the whole game piled on top of another. Hit him with a hammer or something to make him unstable. After that, any attack should knock him down. If you use an explosion, you can make him fall down at once. Oh, really? I didn't know that. If they f you flip him over, the battle will nearly be ours. Beat him one by one. This is- I rem I'm reminded of Yurtle the Turtle. Whoa. Whew. So yeah, the Koopa Bros are the boss with the most amount of tattles to them. Yeah, so you can't even damage them while they're top piled up on that. So what we do is hit them with a hammer, then we'll do a successful head bonk. And now they're all hunched over. And now we have to tattle on all of them individually. This is a green ninja Koopa. He looks exactly the same as a normal Koopa Troopa. Max HP 5, attack power 1, defense power 1. 
He has a little bit of defense power, but you can turn him over by uh, you can turn him over by jumping on him, just like a normal Koopa Troopa. Let's flip him over quick, otherwise the bros may form a tower and do their famous spinning attack. So now what we're gonna do? Okay. I'm terrible at that. <laughs> now Red gets to attack just by himself. Oh wow, he actually damaged me. How embarrassing. There we go. I need to start tattling on these guys. This is a yellow Ninja Koopa. Yellow reminds me of Curry. Isn't that a weird thing to think of in the middle of a battle? Max HP 5, attack power 1, defense power 1. He has a little bit of defense power, but you can put him over. Yep. Yeah. Okay, then the rest of that is normal. <laughs> yeah, in your face. Alright. Finish him! Oh man, I might have to use a mushroom for this battle. Hopefully not, though. Let's try a power bounce. Yeah, take that. This is a black ninja koopa. Black is pretty fashionable. Max HP 5, yep, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I must admit, the black ninja koopa does look awesome. This is a red ninja koopa. He's the koopa bros leader. He's pretty much just a normal koopa trooper though. Yeah. You can see though, if you didn't keep flipping them over, then they would deal a ton of damage, because all on top of each other they deal whopping four damage. So glad I upgraded HP last battle. Oh yeah. You go, Kumbario. Finish him! Goodbye, Koopa Bros. I love you. Whoa! <laughs> and they get sealed in their own jail cell. And the bomb's in, like, sealed up the exit. Hey, hello! Somebody let us out of here! So at least they have a heart block. And I love this effect. Oh, great first world. <laughs> I love the Koopa Bros. I want them to return in another Mario game. Make them the like make them a boss in the next new Super Mario Bros. game. That would be great. Dude. End of chapter. And so Mario and friends beat the Koopa Bros at their fortress and rescued the first Star Spirit. Still, six Star Spirits remain imprisoned, and they must save them as quickly as they can. The future of the Mushroom Kingdom, Star Haven, and of course Princess Peach lies in the hands of Mario and his new friends. Their adventure has just begun, and thank goodness for that. Save and continue? Probably should have continued without saving, though. Just in case, you know. I wonder what Mario's doing right now. I wonder if he's hurt. I'm so worried about him. He'll be alright, Princess. Why, I bet he's saving some star spirits right now. Yes, you're right, Twink. I must be strong. I need to concentrate on finding a way out of here. But there are tons of guards just beyond your door. And it's impossible for you to escape through the window. 
Oh, wait a minute. I remember the minister telling me that there was a secret passage out of this room. Twink, help me look for it. Cool, great idea. The fireplace, quite nice. So big and so warm. Hmm, a warm fireplace? Don't you find that suspicious? Do you really think so, Twink? No. Let's just walk out. What? Princess Peach? You know you're not allowed to leave the room. I'm sorry, but I have to take you back. <laughs> okay, that seems excessive. Are you alright, Princess? Did they hurt you? Yes, I'm fine, thank you, Twink. That was just plain stupid. I've got to be more careful. It doesn't look like you can get out through this door. Yeah, I know that. Oh, a photo of Mario! Don't look at that! <laughs> a photo of Mario, followed by a heart. Yeah, Peach loves her boyfriend. So many dresses, and yet they all look exactly the same. They're not the same! The designs are all slightly different and very fashionable. That <laughs> This is kind of me in clothes. I'm in what Twink normally is, like, uh, why do you need this many? Princess Peach's dresses, her favorite outfits, another heart. She loves her outfits just as much as he, she loves her boyfriend. <laughs> I did not mean to make that plural there. She only has one boyfriend, please. <laughs> oh boy. Now we look prettier, apparently. This is no time to sleep. Yes, let's keep looking. A soft and comfortable bed. Princess loves her bed as much as she loves her boyfriend. Beautiful flowers, aren't they? They smell so good. Sure, I, I guess. <laughs> That's kind of what I'm like for flowers. I love walking out on this balcony. It's so beautiful. Also, the time I'm recording this, it's, uh, let me just check real quick. It is November 13th, 2016. And the moon is absolutely gorgeous. It's like the closest it's been in 68 years, something like that. It is. It was breathtaking. Just thought I should mention that. Alright, enough walking around. Let's get out of here. Oh, look! There's something behind this drawing! And... Habu. Yes! Cool! Now we can get out of this room! I think I'm giving Twink a different voice every time he speaks. I can't find, like, a constant voice for Twink that's different from Peach's. Oh! Where are we? Looks like it's locked. Oh no, we can't get out! Hey, look at this! It looks like somebody left a private diary just lying around. Should we read it? Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you like doing this sort of thing, do you? Okay then, very quietly. Let's see. Oh, like Luigi, Twink is reading it out loud. Day, zero, zero. Month, star, sunny. Today I went to Star Haven and I stole the Star Rod. Now I'm invincible! Cool! I also captured those seven star spirits so they won't annoy me anymore. It was a hard day's work and I'm feeling pretty bushed. Dinner was nice, but a bit bland. I feel like I might know the person who wrote this. Should we read more? Heck yeah. Okay, let's continue. Day 0x, month star, cloudy, then sunny. Today was great, diary! I used my castle to lift Princess Peach's castle way up into the sky! Then I barged into Princess Peach's castle and beat up Mario! Yeah, unbelievable, I know! So fun! And there's more! After that, I, I kidnapped Princess Peach! I couldn't be happier, diary! I hope she likes me. <laughs> Princess Peach! This is Bowser's diary! Ugh! What do we do? Should we read more? Heck yes! Day XX, month star, sunny. Well, the Koopa Bros got beaten by Mario Diary. He even set free that stupid star spirit I kept there. I'm so mad I could barely write- Oh, I'm Mario, I'm so big and strong and good and helpful. I hate him, 
but I'm not worried. There's no way Mario can save the Star Spirit being held in Dry Dry Ruins. To do that, he'd have to solve the mystery of the sands and then find Dry Dry Ruins in Dry Dry Desert. We're very original with the naming in this world. How would he even know to go to the desert anyway? So I'm not worried at all. In fact, I'm so calm, I think I'm gonna go to bed now. Dry Dry Ruins is in the middle of Dry Dry Desert! One of the revered Star Spirits is being held there. Twink, do you think you can find Mario and tell him? I love Twink's face here. Yes, of course, Princess Peach! I'll find Mario right away! Huh? <laughs> oh no! I can't believe I left my secret diary lying out! It would be so embarrassing if somebody read that thing. Huh? Well, well, what What's the princess doing here? Ah, you little sneak! You read my diary! So, uh, do you like me? King Bowser, is there a problem? You're the worst guards ever! Take Princess Peach back to her room immediately! Yes, sir, straight away. Forgive us, sir. No! Put me down! Twink's like, um, uh, what do I do now? He can't push the button by himself. Mario, I believe you'll save us all. From the bottom of my heart, I appreciate all you've done. Thank you. Since you have freed me from my prison, the seal on my power is broken and I will recover it little by little. As long as an ounce of power remains in me, I shall help you. Mario can now use the Star Spirit's power in battle. Using a star power requires star energy. Would you like to listen while I tell you how to use star powers and star energy? This is my job, dude. I suggest you listen. It's very important. Do you want to listen? No, dude! Alright, if you say so. I've never met someone so irresponsibly responsible before. Mario, listen carefully. You must save the other star spirits quickly. If the seven of us come together, we'll be able to bestow upon you a power called the Star Beam. The Star Beam is the only thing that can counteract the star rod that Bowser wields. I have to go back now, back to Star Haven. I must leave immediately, but I'll always be watching you. That's kind of creepy. Save us all, Mario. I wouldn't want some old guy watching my every move. That that's odd. All right. So if you remember, we passed a crack wall along here. Boom. And you know what? If memory serves, we didn't really skip that many battles today. And we get the FP Plus Badge. Increases maximum FP by 5. Again, much like the HP Plus Badge, not that great. And there are multiple of them. So on that note, I'm actually going to save and quit here. Thanks for watching. I'm Colorful Arty. Please tune into the next episode. We'll be returning to Toad Town and probably going to the second world. Have a great day, and God bless.